welcome back to Cabin View Ventures. So today we got a bunch of stuff to do before the real heavy rain starts coming in. It's already raining a little bit now, but what I need to get done today is a bunch of firewood bags bundled up and get them down front. The roadside stand got pretty cleaned out this week. Um, I also need to build another firewood tote. So if you saw the last video, we built kind of like a practice firewood tote just to see how it would turn out. Um, actually came out pretty good. So I have one good skid left in, in stock here. So I want to build that one up so we can split a little more wood today and start to load that one up with all the mixed hardwoods. The first one I built, we're just putting the, uh, the good red and white oak in there. So I went and got some lumber last night to do that. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to get the firewood stand loaded up. We're going to build another tote and we're going to split some firewood. Hopefully all of that before it starts to rain, before we get rained out. So, and, and I apologize guys for not getting too many videos up lately, but with the weather, we've had a ton of rain lately. I mean, last weekend we got two inches of rain. Uh, later this afternoon through Monday, we're getting another two inches of rain. So it's just been muddy, it's been wet, and that does not mix well with firewood. Plus it's the holiday season and we've just been busy with all, all kinds of Christmas stuff. So um, this will probably be the last video you guys see before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everybody out there. I hope everyone has a great holiday season. Um, you know, we really appreciate everybody being here, checking out our videos. So if you like this content, you know, please subscribe. Hit that like button. We love to see the questions and comments uh, down below. So we're really having fun doing this. I know Anthony's enjoying it a lot too. So he's back here uh, riding his bike through the mud right now. All right, so first things first, let's get these firewood bags loaded up and get them down front. We can't sell firewood unless it's down there for sale. So let's get that done this morning and then we're going to build that tote.
All right, so this is some of that red oak I brought up here, I don't know, two months ago, because it was a little, not quite ready. It was like a little over 20%. Let's check it. There we go, 17, 16, 18, 17, 17, yeah, it, it's good. This stuff is all like, I don't know, right around 17 now. Most of it, anyway. I mean, maybe some stuff down here is still a little, like right around 20%, but this stuff is good now to sell or burn. So we'll, uh, we'll probably start bagging some of this stuff up here soon because most of what I had in here is gone. That stuff is only going to be good for kindling. It's just a little too small. And that is some ash that I don't even remember when I put that in here, but that's, that's not quite ready. So we'll, I'll let that sit until next year. That's just a mix of um, sycamore and black walnut that I mainly use for like fire pits. So I'll probably get that out. We'll probably clean this whole thing out here pretty soon and start restacking it uh, with wood we're going to sell for next year. I might bring the rest of that red oak up first. Get that in here. Um, and then that's what I got left for myself. All right guys, so the day got away from us a little bit. Spent a little too much time on the firewood bags earlier and the rain's getting really close to coming in. So we're not gonna split any wood today. I don't wanna get the splitter fired up and then not have time to cool it down before the rain hits because we're gonna get a lot of rain. So I want that nice and covered up while that's going on. So what we're gonna do is build this firewood tote up. I'm gonna do this one a little different than the first one. I'm actually gonna put some runners underneath of that skid just to keep it nice and protected. And I had, uh, I had a little bit of leftover from the last skid I built. So what you need for the main structure are six eight foot long two by fours. I'm gonna put a couple two by sixes underneath just to uh, sit right on the ground since this is all pressure treated. It'll just help that last a lot longer than just the skid itself sitting on the ground. So we're gonna cut these, get them on quick, and then uh, flip that over and get the cage built on it. And I think I hear the rain starting. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna overhang these two by sixes on each end by an inch and a half, because then I'm gonna set my cage right on top of this. It'll be easier to put it on by myself, give it a little extra support, um, and I'll be able to screw it from the bottom as well if I want to, so. And then I'm gonna have one two by four in the middle. So two by sixes on each end, and then a two by four in the middle, and that'll give this skid a nice platform to sit on on the ground. And the rain is definitely here.
All right, so we got all of our boards cut. We got our 48 inch for the sides. We got our 43 inch for the top supports. We're gonna have two side supports we're gonna cut, but we'll do them last. Uh, they should come out to about 35 inches, but we'll double check it once it's together. So what we have again is a 48 by 40 wood pallet, your typical standard size wood pallet. We put three pressure treated runners underneath just to give it some protection from the ground. Uh, this one's in really good shape and we're gonna go ahead and throw that cage on. So we're gonna measure the sides out, mark where those are gonna go, because then we're just gonna set them right on there, screw them in from the side and be done with it.
All right guys, there it is. So this one didn't take too long to put together, much faster than the first one. And mainly because I put those uh, those runners underneath. So it just gave me something to set these side supports on and really helped me do this uh, by myself. So um, like I said before, this is a 48 by 40 inch pallet. Um, and then these sides are, you have know, 43 inches from the floor of the pallet to this roof support. You only need 40 inches to give you a face core to firewood. So you've got just enough space in here to hold a face core to firewood. Uh, again, we used six eight foot long two by fours and then one eight foot long two by six. So, you know, price that out at your local lumber yard, but you know, you're gonna be somewhere right around 40 to $45 if you put those bottom skids on and then you still have a little piece left over so this is what's going to be left you know you've got a 26 inch piece of two by four left over so pretty cheap easy to put together as long as you can get pallets for free you know that's really going to be the biggest part and now you can price these out comparable to you know a metal ibc tote so uh, pretty happy with how this is going. I'm definitely going to build more of these. First thing I'm going to do though is 
load this one up, move it with the tractor, see how that goes. You know, if that's not a problem, then we're gonna keep going on these guys. So, all right guys, so that's gonna wrap things up for today. Thanks for joining us. If you like the content, please subscribe, hit that like button. Let us know if you have any questions or comments and have a Merry Christmas. We will see you on the next one.